This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. It's Tuesday, November 16th, 2021. Let's talk about the news. From Ars Technica, Russia may have just shot down its own satellite, creating a huge debris cloud. Seven astronauts and cosmonauts living aboard the International Space Station took shelter inside their ships when a cloud of debris generated when the Russian government destroyed one of its own defunct satellites passed close by, raising ire both because of the risk such a debris cloud represents for people and infrastructure in orbit, but also because Russia didn't notify anyone else about their intended dramatic decommissioning of their satellite. There are still quite a few unknowns here, but what seems to have happened is Russia used an anti-satellite missile to take out a Soviet satellite that was launched in 1982. That satellite and the missile exploded into more than 1,500 pieces of trackable debris and hundreds of thousands of pieces small enough not to be trackable. And that massive cloud of bits and pieces shooting through frictionless space at high, sometimes bullet-like speeds passed within spitting distance of the ISS. Though such debris clouds tend to stick around for a long time, potentially imperiling future orbital activity for years or decades, which is another reason why this move is confounding pretty much everyone. That confusion helped not at all by Russia's thus far at least lack of official explanation. From the Associated Press, smog chokes Indian capital as air pollution levels soar. India's capital city, New Delhi, is suffering under quote-unquote very poor air quality conditions, which are obscuring the sky under dense gray smog, lowering ground-level visibility, and causing breathing difficulties for residents. New Delhi isn't the only Indian city experiencing significant haze right now, and it sees similar conditions every year, caused in large part by the burning of crop residues in neighboring states, that smoke billowing over to the city and becoming trapped by weather conditions. City officials have announced schools will be closed this week, construction sites will be closed until Thursday, and government workers will work from home till next week in order to reduce the number of vehicles on the road. And a little more Russian news from Deutsch Well. NATO, alarmed by Russian troop buildup on Ukrainian border. Representatives from the NATO military alliance have called on Russian officials to be transparent about their intentions as they build up military forces on their border with Ukraine, sparking concerns throughout Europe and in the U.S. that the Russian government might intend an invasion or some other military act against their neighbor. Russia's 2014 takeover of a former Soviet territory, the Crimean Peninsula, which was part of Ukraine and angling to build tighter connections with Western Europe, seems to be informing NATO's and the U.S.'s response to this troop buildup, which Russian President Putin has brushed off as their business and not anyone else's. And the Ukrainians, who are still engaged in armed conflict, with Russian-backed separatists in parts of their country, are perhaps understandably disconcerted by the unexplained presence of something like 100,000 Russian soldiers and accompanying military hardware setting up just over the border. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com and you can support this and other related projects like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts at understandery.com. <laughs>